doing? What's it feel like to finally be wearing the blue and white after what, a long process to get here? Uh, it's crazy, honestly. The first couple of practices, even seeing myself on the film, was definitely different. But um, honestly, it's been awesome. The coaches have been great. Players have been very welcoming. So it's been a great opportunity. So what was that transition like from Ohio State to Penn State? Uh, it's been a very smooth transition, you know, uh, I have relationships prior and, uh, you know, just being able to rekindle those relationships and uh, talk to them and then being able to come here on my visit and, um, you know, just see nothing's really changed. But uh, it's been great. Are there things you learned at Ohio State that you brought here? Uh, 100%. I mean, I went to Ohio State for four years. I got to go. I got to get developed as a man and as a person. And I thank them for everything that they did. But I just need to make a uh, decision that was going to be best for me in the long run. Julian, Why was the timing right but, now to make that decision, you think? I'm not sure. Um, you know, just kind of, I have one year left of uh, college and I really wanted to maximize it. And I felt like uh, the opportunity here was great. Can you take us through your first few weeks in the program? One of the things we heard from players and coaches is that you didn't come in expecting anything. Mm -hmm. You went right to work kind of grinding away. Can you just tell us what that was like for you those first few weeks? Yeah, so uh, even when I hit the transfer portal, I kind of, I never had uh, any prior relationship with coaches talking before I hadn't put my name in. I just put my name in and I knew wherever I went, I just wanted to put my head down and work and kind of gain everybody's respect. So. I came in and um, I put my head down. Uh, you know, I made some friends, got to talk to people, but for the most part, it was just uh, kind of me working and kind of building on myself, just trying to respect the guys that have been here so far. Was it weird at all initially being in there against guys you had played against, or was it just kind of a natural thing for you? Uh, I think it was pretty natural, honestly. Uh, you know, you get to talk to people after games and things, uh, things of that nature, so I think it was a pretty natural just kind of change. When we were talking to Andy, he said that the wide receiver group from last year had a chip on his shoulder. How have you seen that play out since you've been here? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, being able to come here and kind of see how they treated everything and, you know, the chip that they had their shoulder. I, I don't want to get too far into it because, you know, I wasn't here last year to be able to, you know, talk about everything that they went through as a unit. But uh, they definitely have a chip on their shoulder. They're definitely hungry. And uh, I'm really excited. To, I'm excited to be working with them. Can you explain what it was like rekindling the relationship with James Franklin after he pushed for you so hard in high school? Yeah, honestly, there was uh, no love lost. Obviously, in high school, it was what it was. And, uh, Right when I hit the portal, he had, he had messaged me, and uh, we talked and kind of just built it from there. I got here on a visit, and, um, you know, that was it. What has this been like for your family? Because he had mentioned <clears throat> that you had, I think, your grandfather, your uncle has been here, your mom's obviously been here. But what's it been like for them to be have you closer? Yeah, uh, it's great for them, honestly. Um, it's great for me as well. It's great for it's great for everybody. They get to come to practices. I get to go home more often. It's not a six-hour drive anymore. It's an hour hour and 20 minute drive so it's been amazing I get to see my little sister uh, get to go to her games get to see my mom my grandfather and my you know my grandparents as they're getting a little bit older so just being able to be around my family and have that that family aspect here as well it's been James, great. James said your grandfather's been able to come to some practices what, what's it been like to have him literally in the building? It's really different um, I actually talked to him about it the other day I was like that's like me coming and watching you on your work day so <laughs> it's uh it's definitely a different experience and it is a little bit weird but you know get them talk to them afterwards and see them afterwards is uh it's great. Does he have any feedback for you, Grandpa? Not too much. He, yeah. He's tried in the past couple of years, but I think we, we passed that point a little bit. <laughs> Julian, obviously you had a handful of setbacks during your time at Ohio State. How healthy are you now? How, how does your body feel going into your five? Yeah, no, uh, healthy as can be. This is probably the healthiest offseason I had so far. You know, uh, shoulders are both good. I got those all fixed up. You know, been under the needle a couple times with, uh, you know, stuff just having to get this and this done and bumps and bruises. But right now, yeah, I'm healthy and I'm happy about it. When you say that it's your healthiest stuff, off-season, spring, whatever it might be yet, yeah, what kind of things have you been able to accomplish that you haven't been able to accomplish in the past because of that? Uh, you know, I've got to I've got to have um, spring practices and spring balls, but I never made it through a, a full spring session. Mm -hmm. So just being able to kind of kind of see and, uh, you know, prove more things to myself has been it's been awesome for me. You talked about being developed in Iowa State. How has Penn State helped you as well? Definitely, uh, you know, going from one more receiver to coach to another, they definitely have different different things and different things that they like and enjoy. So just being able to, uh, you know, take both of them and kind of kind of combine them and what uh, I've already known and what I'm still learning has been just been another step up in my game. What are some of the things that you're I don't want to get too far into that. It's been dealing with too much information right now. <laughs> What's it been like working with Andy Cole and Nicky so far? Oh, it's been awesome. He's a great guy. Um, great guy, great coach. He expects a lot from us. Um, the offense has obviously changed a little bit, but uh, I think we're – but we're growing and we're, and we're learning it better and better. And I think it's going to be really great for us this season. You're probably aware that there was a lot of criticism of the wide receiver room here a year ago. What role can you play in helping make the wide receiver room relevant again? I don't think it's an individual role. I think it's going to be a, a collective role with all of us. And, and it's going to start with Coach Higgins. And, um, you know, just us being able to build together and uh, not hear any of the outside noise that's been 
has been said the past you know year or whatever it was but just being able to uh, us to build together and not have not have an expectation just constantly build and build and build until you know we're that group when you came here on the visit drew had told us a little bit about it this winter what do you remember about that visit and how important yeah. was it kind of getting a strong relationship with him out of the, out of the game? yeah it was definitely really important um i got to come in obviously talk to coach k right away and uh, we had our offensive meeting and drew was able to come in and we just went over some schemes and plays and uh you know his expectation on uh, you know where he saw me in the offense and being able to build that relationship with Drew was very important. Where does he see you in the offense? Gotta wait and see. <laughs> Can you tell us about that relationship and how it has developed? Because it's one thing talking to somebody on a visit, but now you've been here for months dealing with Drew. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I get to talk to Drew every single day. Like, we have a good relationship. I get to talk in the locker room, get to talk in the weight room. And uh, you know, it's definitely just constantly just been building and building. It's gonna continue to grow. This was an offense last year that you know, played two quarterbacks a lot of the time. Um, what's it been like to work with not only Drew, but also Bo? It's been great. They're both really, really good competitors. They're both great guys. And I'm excited to see what they're both gonna do this year.